Hello everybody, this is John Larson, Managing Partner at American Real Estate Investments. I'm here with my good friend Keith Weinhold from Get Rich Education. Welcome to St. Louis. Welcome to St. Louis, Keith. Thanks for having me, John. So we're going to see a lot of cool stuff today. We're going to see some great homes. We're going to tour around some of our areas where we produce many of our properties here in St. Louis. One of the things that caught me, for 2017, Forbes came out with a list of cities where the most educated millennials were moving to, and surprisingly, St. Louis is number three on that list. This house that we're gonna walk into now, this is this is our sweet spot. Uh, this is a house that we sold for 110,000, uh, appraised at 110, right on that right on that number. So let's take a look and uh, see what the house looks like here on the inside. So it looks like right away we're seeing original hardwood floors without any sort of laminate. So when you go ahead and purchase a home and rehabilitate it, there's no need to change the floor. Yeah, so American Real Estate Investments, they really know how to make the right strategic improvements specifically for investors. So also here I see a lighter color, lighter colors on the flooring typically make a room look bigger. That's something a tenant wants to and that's very inviting as soon as they walk in. We've also stayed away from dark colored flooring which tends to show the dust, so very livable for tenants. You get into the kitchen here, we put some new cabinets, uh, new appliances in the kitchen. The countertops is like just kind of like a new Formica. Um, looks nice, looks like granite, but obviously it's not granite. We're not putting granite in the house that's going to rent for 1075. Uh, also, if it was damaged for any reason from the tenant, very easy to replace, very cheap to replace. So everything's designed to have, you know, when we do conduct these turnovers, low cost, easy to turn for the investor. This is a three bedroom house, like I said. Full bathroom here on my left. Another bedroom here, and then this would be the master bedroom. This master bedroom has a half bath over here, so very attractive. You know, these one and a half bath homes really rent quickly. About, you know, partially finished basement. Some of the basements in St. Louis, since most of the houses that we're doing are about a thousand square feet, if you go down and you finish the basement out, you can usually get $50, sometimes as much as $100 more in rent. But the main thing you want to look at as an investor is when was the roof replaced? You know, is there new mechanicals in the property? Because we want to make sure that these renovations are durable for our investors so they're not having high cost fixes and things breaking down on them early in ownership. There's not at least 50% left of life on these things. I'm replacing them. So this is a new unit here. Our investors should be able to get about 12 to 15 years out of this unit. This is 1516 Boardwalk. This property was built in 1977. Uh, so a little bit newer than the last house that we were just at. Um, I have it listed at just under 1,300 square feet. Uh, three bed, two bath. This house is going to rent for $1,250 per month. Okay, and so a sales price on this property would be in the 120 to 130 range. Uh, let's kind of go in. We're still working on this home, so it is a job site, but you'll get a good idea of how it's going to look when it's completed. Okay, and we're still in a pretty proud-looking, well-kept neighborhood here with places that have curb appeal where you probably exactly. got certainly exactly. more owner occupants than renters. So we're going upstairs here. We have a living area. It's a very common style in St. Louis too. You'll have you know that ranch style home that we were at at first that went just one level. Um, but this is very common as well. It's kind of like a split level type of property. Here's the kitchen. Same sort of flooring that we had in the last house for the kitchen. Those stick down tiles. Uh, we have the new appliances here that are going to be going in. New cabinets, new refrigerator, new dishwasher, new stove. This has got a nice deck off the back of it here. So two bedrooms here, full bathroom here. Okay, Keith, we're at another property here in Florissant, Missouri. Uh, this property is actually going to rent for $1,400, so this is one of our more high-end properties. It is on the market for a tenant right now, so let's go on and take a look inside. Quite a spacious area to walk into. Yeah, so you're seeing pretty, pretty common themes, same sort of paint, things of that nature. Fixtures are being replaced, all the fixtures are new. This is a nice living room over here. We're gonna come in, we have a fireplace here in the dining room, which is a nice little feature. Nice new kitchen, clean new cabinets, new appliances again, same common theme that we've seen in all the other houses that we've been in. If we go down here, you'll find the bedroom. We've got the full bath here. Pretty large master bedroom. Uh, this is why we're able to command this higher rent as well. We're still in a very nice middle-class neighborhood of Florissant. 
but you're, you're seeing some larger rooms. One thing I noticed now that we've been in a number of homes is, yeah, you do have a lot of these similar fixtures. For example, the light fixtures, for example, the cabinetry. So you're able to get those economies of scale. Exactly. You deal with so many homes and, exactly. and make it a good turnkey investment. You know, but the kitchen looks new, nice, clean. Nice cabinets. You know, it looks like we refinished these, but they look brand new. So that's the kind of stuff we're doing. Visually appealing to the tenant, but also if we had to replace anything in this property, cost effective for the owner. You know, these rehabs are not just slapped together. And like I said, the city of St. Louis really, and the city of Florissant really holds us accountable to make sure that these houses are very clean. The T's are crossed, the I's are dotted on every one of these investments. Yeah, it's a de facto ongoing inspection. It is, it is. Okay, so Keith, thanks again for joining us in St. Louis. It's a pleasure to have you. You know, we've already seen the RE headquarters down in Dallas. You got to meet the whole team there. But now you got a good view on what we're able to offer our clients and how we're able to diversify our clients into other markets outside of Dallas that maybe are better for just cash flow and rate of return as opposed to where our Dallas market still provides positive cash flow, but it might be a little bit more safe in terms of low vacancies due to all the population growth and a greater chance to see those appreciating values. This is a durable cash flow market. This is at a time when, you know, rents just are not keeping up proportionally higher purchase prices in a lot of metros, but they are keeping up here in St. Louis. It sure is a market that makes a lot of sense. So John, thanks for inviting me down here. Absolutely. It's been a fun day. Thanks a lot.